Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Disaster Tour. I'm PT, your Disaster Tour Guide, and we're back with Bits, Crits, and Halfwits. Woohoo! Hello. But hey. while we have a bunch of people here, I need to tell everybody the same thing I just told all my players. Go look up, and I'm going to put it in chat so everyone can see it. Hi, Sky. Hello. I'm going to put this Hello. in chat so everyone can see it because it's important. Go look up Comet Nishimura because it's once in 400 years, so you'll never get the chance again, and you'll be able to see it in the sky for the next, like, six or seven days. Oh, the green one? one? The green one. One. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Challenge accepted. Two, I would like to acknowledge Term. Everyone yeah. acknowledged Sky. But no one acknowledged term. Welcome, term. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to eclipse your term. No, eh? no they were talking about <laughs> comets, and as such, I, I stayed quiet the entire time. <laughs> Just go look up Comet Nishimura. I'm going to pin it in chat so that everyone can see what it's called, so they can go look up, because it's going to be in a variable, as, you know, Isaac brought up, it's going to be in a variable, variable spot depending on where you live in if you're in the Northern Hemisphere. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, I got bad Suck news it. bears for you. <laughs> fly to the Northern get, Hemisphere. Get a plane ticket and get yeah. over here. Fly to the Northern <laughs> Hemisphere sometime in the next six days. <laughs> road trip. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little more than a road trip, I think, depending <laughs> on where you are. Nonsense. But. Well, apparently, like, plane tickets are kind of cheap right now. I mean, if you buy them three months in advance. It's going to be, it's going to be true, right before, it's supposed to be at its brightest point, right before, right before, right about sunrise. Okay, I have to, now, okay. Continue. Now you've added time. Which sunrise? Chill. <laughs> 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 If you want to go model it, go model it, and then you tell me. <laughs> Guys, do you know how hard astronomy is? It's actually but like I'm I'm legally intense. I'm legally obligated as a tour guide to tell you about the green comet that's going to be in the sky. So moving right along. That's so exciting. Mm -hmm. All right. Sorry, I I it's got to be said. I was trying to go to your Twitch channel, and instead of typing in the disaster tour, I typed in PT Cruiser. Because... <laughs> <laughs> My brain just did an oh, autocomplete. PT Cruiser! Sp sponsored by Chrysler. My grandma, my grandma drove a PT Cruiser that for the longest time her license plate was G-R-N-N-S-C-R, which is Granny's car. Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh. My family also drove a PT Cruiser for a long time when I was a youth. It's a, it's a, it's an early 2000s thing, I think. It's yeah. for people who bought their cars in the 2000s who were really trying to mimic that we're back in the 1800s style. Lo and behold, we're there socially now, but that doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure they were just ugly, so they were cheap, as far as my family was concerned. Well, that's, also, that's also <laughs> fair. But welcome hey, back, everybody. Before one. we get into exactly. our character introductions, can I get our wonderful question of the day from Rosie? Yes. Okay, so this is less of a question and more of like a role play prompt. But oh I want you to like act out what your character would do if they um, corrupted their Baldur's Gate safe that had like 30 no. hours on it. God damn it, Rosie! Did somebody corrupt a Baldur's Gate safe with 30 <laughs> hours on it? How'd you yes. do that? Did you try to yes. put mods in? No, I just stopped working. The internet tells me it's because I had like. Like Steam fucks things up sometimes, but yeah. I'm sad about it. I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> so, but that's how I'm reacting. Now you guys have to react. All right. Well, first we have Elliot Burning Oak, the half elf wizard from Zrea, played by. Uh, it's me, Isaac. Uh, I am known for being an avid enjoyer of 98.6% of the superset of both culinary and ceramic uh, Mediterranean dishes. Um, yeah. Very nice. Um, <laughs> And, uh... Also, roll your what? D100s. <laughs> got it. <laughs> D100s, you got it, boss. Wait, no, I'm not. What am I... What was the question? Sorry, I got a Discord message yeah. and my brain just sort of... I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, Rosie, I want, I want a better question than that. <gasps> oh my god, I, okay. If I, you, I, if you I, had I, to choose... What? Do I you will, have one? 
Uh, no, I was just gonna say I second that because I haven't played Baldur's Gate. Oh, damn. I don't. Okay. I don't even have Baldur's Gate. The only thing <laughs> I know is everybody game. wants to romance everyone else, and I don't understand that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why is everyone okay, trying then to romance? My new question <laughs> is okay. So wait, okay. My new question is this. Um. Okay. So you know how, like, right now, like humans are like the species on Earth. You know, like we dominate the Earth. Blah blah blah. What would your character be excited about being the next species to dominate the Earth? Are you rooting for the dolphins? Are you rooting for the birds? Got it. <laughs> cool. Um, All right. Cool. So, <laughs> Elliot, go ahead and answer that for us. I think the answer should Great. be elves. <laughs> Um, actually, the answer is spiders. Elliot's rooting for the spiders. Horrifying. Okay. Oh, oh, now you root for the spiders. And then we have Lyra Dream Shadow, (laughs) the Kalishtar wizard from Stipvale, played by... Uh, Rosie, one Rosie CS on the internet, and I think Lyra's really rooting for the dolphins. She's like, they're kind of scary, but they've got big brains, you know? Like, that's kind of cool. What would they do? Uh, also, Rosie, Vital put the answer to your corrupted save in chat. Three data? What do you mean three data? I'm also, assuming did... it's a folder. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll chat in chat, but I have done many a thing. I have, all, I have like, made a backup and uh, uninstalled, reinstalled. I've done it all. And then we oh, have... Guys. Wait, 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 wait. I remember why my brain short-circuited other than the Discord message. Oh. It was to say that... Um, we now have added to the list of things that must be backed up in three locations. Baldur's Gate saves, um, all school work, and DC's projects. Yep. <laughs> and then we have Karak Arim, the warlock Furbolg from The Hedge, played by... Hello, it's me, Terminion Link VT, and Karak would be really excited to see, to see crows, just because crows are already using tools. They seem the most likely, and they're not—they're not quite predator, but not quite prey. So it, it's a nice middle ground. Fair. And then we have News and World Walker, the Minotaur Sorbarian from Olfast, played by. It's me, the Sky T. Um, obviously, Newsen's one and only favorite animal, manatees, would be her choice to take over the world. They have no, they have no so aggression good. in them, but that's okay. She will be the caretaker of all manatees as they take over the world. <laughs> all right, that's and then cool. last but not least, we have Lulin Boldspeaker, the Minotaur Druidin from Ol- from Olfast, played by. It me, Brambo. Also, Mister Saturn Three Three on the interwebs, specifically the Twitch. Um. I'm also going to go into the uh, the hot soup that is the ocean, and I'm going to say octopus. Fuck mm. you, that was mine. <laughs> How can it be one. You have to choose based on the character we select. That's true, but that was my pers- that, That's my personal answer. Oh, um, uh, I guess you also kind of hopped into the eight-legged territory like Isaac did. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. All right. We all are ready for our multi-legged overlords. Newsen, who am I answering as? Well, Elliot didn't roll, so. Well, I'm loading it up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll be I to find a YouTube him, video. I'm going to give him the opportunity to... to get more than 20. <laughs> no, you got 20 80, is not you the high You got 84. Right no, I, I, yeah, but everybody else got something in the 20s. True. So either you're an outlier like Sky, or you join the fun group. <laughs> <laughs> the fun group. <laughs> you're an outlier, Ooh. but Newsen, you're still deciding for me. Okay. I think... Um, hmm, who do I want you to answer this question as? Uh, they don't have to be a living NPC. I know. That's what I'm... That's that's the... That's, the, I, that's what I'm digging into. <laughs> there's so there's so many options. Yeah, um, who are you just dying to know <laughs> this about? I know it's it's so difficult. It's really difficult. I'm thinking about a deep cut. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's so many NPCs that I'm like, I'm like, I want to know, but I don't remember their name as well. <laughs> <laughs> There were so many random kobolds that we interacted with in Koboldia. Mm-hmm. That's fair. The um, one's the one who was showing us around. He was cute. It started with an S, I think. I Snook. Yeah. Uh, what? Snook. Snook. Okay, that guy, yeah. So- huh? Lizards, obviously. Mm. <laughs> the bigger the lizard, the better. So probably alligators. <laughs> I was hoping someone would answer like just themselves. <laughs> you, you know what? Yeah, you just remind me of like, something. <laughs> Speaking of gators, uh, we got some. We got some ones living in the rivers by me oh, in Pennsylvania. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's um, okay. Yeah, wow, apparently, apparently Wisconsin. It's a big state. I know. Yeah. Apparently, <laughs> Wisconsin has had at least three alligators caught in lakes in the last year. Nice. Like, full size? Well, I was gonna say, speaking of gators, uh, you have you absolutely destroyed <laughs> uh, Florida in their open game. Opening game? Home, what's it called? First home game? Something? I feel like this is Can not you the tell right that I'm crowd a sport for ball? the sports. It's, o- <laughs> yeah. it's okay. <laughs> On, uh... Yeah, you picked the wrong people to talk about this, too. Alright, now, okay, <laughs> then I have something that is the right crowd for this particular group. You know when there's a thing... There's a memory that's locked in your brain. You haven't thought about it in years, possibly since yeah. it first occurred. Ah, uh, yes, yeah. repressed um, memories. And it's not like a word. It is a word said in a specific way. Um, What's the word? Anyways, as as Sky was speaking moments ago and mm. said something about manatee, um, it reminded me of a Veggie Tales clip that I I know the one the you're talking channel. about. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Barbara Manatee, you can't bring that back into my brain. <laughs> it was gone! And then Scotty spoke and it was there. Manatee. God, I'm so bl- I'm um, so blessed that I never had to watch Veggie Tales. No, you're not. Veggie no, Tales it was no, a good. It is, le- it is legitimately good. Like for religious programming, they did a decent job of just being like, hey, don't be a jerk. I you know. have Veggie Tales. But if you want to hire like, me to do voice acting, I will voice act for Veggie Tales. I remember it was me, Sky, Flam, and I think you, Rosie, watched the documentary on how Veggie Tales was made yes. and why it got so popular. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was, it was at like um, 3 a.m. It was, it was, it was, like it was, was Sparks. They were at the Saber's forefront Sparks. of animation, mm-hmm. of 3D <laughs> animation. <laughs> Without them, we wouldn't have had Toy Story. <laughs> Uh, surprisingly, that's facts. It's fact. That's that's uh, sadly facts. <laughs> really, the the Veggie Tales episodes that I liked were the uh, Batman riffs. Those were really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Super Larry or whatever it was. Larry yeah. Boy. Larry Boy. Larry Boy. Larry Boy. <laughs> Chat. You ever you ever heard an inside joke and you're the outside? <laughs> <laughs> All you need Look, to do is hear the Anyways, voice. I will respond I will respond with a film fact of my own. Did you know that paleontology owes its like popularity as a field almost entirely to Jurassic Park? I assumed as much. I Be- believe it. Because Jurassic when Park. when and, they were making the first it, a mo- complete lack of jobs. When they were making their first movie, paleontology was like a brand new field that didn't have any funding because nobody thought the study of dinosaurs was important. And they were like, hey, we want to know biomechanically how these would work. So here's millions of dollars to figure it out for us. That's crazy. And also Jurassic Park has special effects. It's still still hold up because none of them were CGI. Yeah. And the Tyrannosaurus Fucking Rex would try effect. to kill yeah. the Tyrannosaurus Rex mech would try to kill people on a regular basis. Practical <laughs> effects are popping off. Eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But anyways, last time on Bitskirts and Halfwits, the party kept watch for the night. And they all learned very introspective things about themselves. Except for Elliot, who slept through the entire evening. Mm-hmm. Nice. <laughs> in a pizza Susan in a cried. pizza coma. Yeah, my man ate so much pizza. Look, I get pizza once in like a hundred <laughs> years, so But that's pretty much all I have for the recap. If you want to know more about it, you're just gonna have to go watch that episode. 
going to have to watch the VODs when it's up. Yeah. Will it ever go up? Go I'm it. getting there. <laughs> I had <laughs> such a backlog. I'm halfway there. Well, And we're living right. on a prayer. Mm -hmm. Are you sitting on a chair? I am sitting on a chair. How'd you know? <laughs> well, it's almost, like, it's almost like I can see you. Well, that's not <laughs> fair. Whoa. I hate this. Please go. I anywhere. got the final rhyme, suffer. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're going to kick right into it as Lyra returns from her watch looking at the sky, which you should all be doing this week. And uh, I think I think has some meditating to do. Yeah. Do you want that to be go, public um... meditating or private meditating? Um... Let's do public meditating. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a classic. Um, okay, so she's going to, like, sort of sit cross-legged. She, she's somewhere where she can see the stars, right? Like, out on a balcony or something? You can see the stars from inside the dome. Nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's gonna sit cross-legged and sort of, like, um, yeah, close her eyes and have a moment. Um... And she's reaching out to her dad in her brain. So you find yourself, the world around you kind of begins to fizzle and fade out as you find yourself back inside your childhood room, that kind of mental space you've created for yourself. And nobody's in the room, but almost feeling that you're calling out for him, the door opens in one of the walls and your dad walks in holding a book and he kind of snaps it shut. Hey there, Gadget! What's what's going hey. on? Um, I've just been doing a little bit of thinking, a little, you know, soul searching, as it were. Um kind of literally. Um anyway, uh so I was I kind of just I feel like okay, I'm I'm a little upset with you and and mom, I guess. Um I just I feel so disconnected from who I am. I don't know anything about the Kalishtars, and and now I'm I'm supposed to have like a guide, a spirit guide, or something. And I heard someone once, but I I don't know where they went or if they're still around. Or and also I just I don't I don't know why why did you never tell me? Your dad kind of looks across from you, and you. You see, like, that familiar crinkle from your childhood between his eyes when he was trying to think of the right thing to say, most of the time losing arguments to your mother. Well, I mean, I'm human. It wasn't really my place. But yeah. your mom... Your mom didn't want you raised... Among all, she, for I don't, I, I can't tell you the reason, but she didn't want you raised like that. I don't think she wanted, I think she didn't want you to feel like you were just a piece of something. I think she wanted you to feel like you were an individual. But I don't even understand what it means to be what I am. Do any of us really? Well, I don't know, but I, I do know that, like, you know, I, I mean, you know, people around me know more about this stuff than than I do. It's just, it just feels weird. Um, he kind of walks over and he sits down on the bed and he pats the comforter next to him. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, all of all of these people who know more about it than you, gadget, they've been set in their ways for thousands of years, maybe. Maybe the fact that you don't know is your chance to make a new definition for what it means to be a Kalistar. Change the script, rewrite the story. Do you know if there are any other Kalistar around, or like? I mean, most of there... most of Brester. Yeah, yeah. I guess I just didn't really. I don't know. I didn't connect with it while we were there, but I should. Well, mostly because you know there was the whole weird tensions going on but i don't know i just wish i had well there's no there's a why don't you just go there now with all your friends 
just, just well, we're a little busy. We're trying to get this town out of the um the place. I it's unclear, but you know, a whole city kind of fell into this um other dimension and we kind of want to get it out, but maybe they don't want to get out, so it's a little bit complicated. What? What uh, what other dimension? I've been doing what you asked. I haven't been looking through your eyes. Oh, I'll just... Can I just, like, beam some memories into his head about what's been going on? Because he is, like, half a figment of your imagination, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, he's it's just, like... Just, to, just open the floodgate a little bit. So, yeah. So that's uh, that's vaguely what's been happening. It's, uh, ooh, it's a little bit of a doozy. Um he's he kind of looks around the whole the, this whole little he kind of as you as you share the memories with him very gradually so not particularly quickly but the room around you begins to transform into the images of the space you were sending him as he kind of looks around and he goes are we are we inside of a lock yes yeah, we are. Yep. Sure are. How? Um, that's, um, kind of a good question. Um, well, we were, so this, you know, this town got pulled in, and, um, yeah, and then we went after it, I guess. Okay. Do you need it? Is is there any way I can help? Uh, you know, maybe. <laughs> uh, I guess if if you want to hang out in the back of my head, you know, looking through my eyes for the next couple of days, that might be useful. Um, if you see anything that looks familiar or have any ideas about this stuff. Um, yeah, specifically, we're kind of thinking about breaking it, I guess. Break, breaking it open? Yeah. It wouldn't it's be the worst thing. Idea. Yeah, that's kind of where we landed. Like, maybe not the worst thing ever. Um, what, Do you have any insight into that? Um, oh. You know, I'm all ears. I mean, the reason I never talked about the locks is they were kind of our, my biggest regret from the war. I thought that... What do you... Re well, Velkin made the argument that with the gods gone, people would stop hurting each other, and as we saw, that's not the case, so I don't know what harm there would be in bringing them back. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Still. I vaguely remember the spell. I guess I can start looking for holes in it. Oh, which, that would be so helpful. Yeah, especially because, like... You know, we got this offer where, like, one of our friends could, like, sacrifice himself. And that didn't seem great. Don't want to really do that. Um, So we were kind of thinking about looking for a diamond to just, who, you know, bring, bring him back. Who made you the offer? Oh, oh, he's so cool. Such a good therapist. Um, Mog. The engineer? Do you know him? I used to. I thought he was dead. Not well, no, not not in my experience. Not in my experience. <laughs> oh, well, that's that's actually very surprising. Really, really lovely guy. Said some, you know, really said some great stuff. I feel like I have a lot of direction after uh, talking to him. Well, be careful around him. Why do you say that? Just because he can only say things that have been said to him before doesn't mean he doesn't have things he still wants to say. It's it's hard to it's hard you to think... know sometime with the Kenku whether they're just parroting what they were told to say or saying it for themselves. Hmm. And Mog Question. was Mog Did was I... more devoted to the gods than any of us. To bringing them back, or to well, he's putting the, them away. He's the one they. He's the one they sent to kill Velkin. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. I do know a little bit about that. Um. Yeah. 
question, PT, for the DM. Um, hmm. Did I recognize any of the voices that Mog used? Like, thinking back? Not particularly. Uh, roll me a history okay. check, actually. Okay. Love to roll history checks. Skills, history. Not fantastic. Uh, some of them would have seemed familiar, but not in a you know them, but more of like you recognized accents, you recognized kind of intonations, but not so gotcha. much that they were direct mimicries of anyone that you knew. Okay, okay, so more like, oh, probably he's mimicked people from my plane, kind of. Or, idea. you know, it could have been maybe how somebody talked when they were a lot younger and had a different voice. Oh, okay. So not ruling out that I like Not ruling like, out that you didn't recognize any of them, but it's unclear who they would be if you did. Okay. Interesting. Keep that in mind. A whole lot of vague um, for you. Yeah. <laughs> uh well, you know, thank thank you uh, for that. That's What was he, you said one of your friends was it Newsin or Elliot? Oh, no, no, a new friend. Uh a new friend. Actually, a uh, warlock, interestingly enough, um, met, met them here. Great. We're stone for a long time. A um, warlock. Yeah. Well, I can't say that your mother would approve, but I guess if you trust them. Yeah, they seem fine. I mean, they... Yeah, I mean, you know, it's still early days, but... I think I think they're gonna fit in well with us. Well, if there's any lessons I can give you, Gadget, it would be be careful who you put your faith in. Yeah, yeah. Um. Well. Um. Oh, I had one. So one last question for you. Um. I, so, have you noticed anyone else up in here in my head? Because I should have a spirit guardian, I guess. And I I remember talking to them once. Well, if they're a spirit guardian, they wouldn't be in here. I mean, all of this con all of this construction and all of this in here is logic. You'd have to tap into an entirely different plane. But I don't know. Maybe one of your friends can help you. Okay, I'll uh, I'll, I'll ask. Okay, well, uh, thanks, thanks, thanks for chatting. And if you want to stick around, you know, for the do, next couple do, days. Do you want me to hang out here just in case? Yeah, I think so. This seems like maybe you would know a little more about all this stuff, you know. So. Okay. All right. Okay. See you, Dad. He just, he just gives you a hug. Love you, Gadget. Be safe out there. Will do. He kind of does the dad grumble. Oh, I love you too, dad. If you just fade out of your mind. <laughs> and when you fade out of your mind, the sun is rising on the horizon. And Mog is walking around pulling levers as the telescope's like retracting back in and the dome is closing. You better go get friends. It's almost time for Mog to move again. Okay. I'll go wake him up, and Lyra kind of, um, sleepily, I assume, <laughs> goes down the stairs and back to everybody. Go goes to the oh, elevator? Yes, yeah, sorry, elevator. There's an elevator. Stairvator. Stairvator. Stairs. Fifteen <laughs> really, months ago, is that elevator? is wild. <laughs> oh, yeah, escalator. <laughs> that is a thing, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah. Yes, I I use the stair evaders to get to an elevated position to use my knife gun. You mean crossbow? <laughs> knife gun. Knife in gun. other languages, escalator. <laughs> or no wait, escalators are stairs, and I think elevator is escalator. Anyways, Lyra, you head back down as the sun's rising to wake everyone up. Yep. Uh, rise and shine, everybody! It's a brand new day. <laughs> Ah! Uh, <laughs> so she wakes you up. <laughs> Rock is already getting up because he wants to start getting up a bit earlier to see those sunrises. 
Yeah, so uh, so uh, Mog said we were gonna move, so we should probably um, wake wake up. Ah, Lumen, yeah. <laughs> Lumen, oh, wake up. <laughs> makes sense that they wouldn't they wouldn't want to keep this here for too long. Yeah, yeah but why do we, it moves? What do we need to? Are we outside the I, tower? Or inside I, the tower. You're inside the tower right now. I, okay, then what I, do I need to get up for? The tower's gonna move with me inside of it, surely. As I'm doing my part. As you say, hey, Vital, thanks for the two gifted subs. <laughs> Brando got one. Let's go. Let's go. As, I'm doing my part. As you say that, you see Mog kind of slide down. He has like a weird repelling device as he slides down one of the ropes to the elevator and lands on it. No, no. Mog, move. You all have other places go. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh we're being kicked out. out. I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry. I didn't well, even I evicted. That. See, that makes way really more sense. It... Why didn't you just say that, Lyra? I, I didn't realize. Mog have... Yeah, you never quite did figure that one out. Mog have lots of power... Mog have lots of powerful thing in tower. Not helping by powerful thing you all bring into tower. Hey, Mog, would you mind if we took something? It doesn't really matter what but, like, a thing out of the tower so that we could get back here more yeah. easily. That would be really helpful, yes. It could be, it could be like, a piece of junk that you don't use, but it just helps us to get back here so we don't have to, like, track you down. Oh. Oh, Mog, Mog have solution for that much better than carry Mog junk. All oh, Mog okay. junk carry residue. Any of you hmm. know how draw circles? Yeah, I do yeah, such good circles. Lyra is a pro circle drawer. <laughs> Perfect. I mean, they're mostly circular. Minotaurs, Nuzan you is... push you push bed out of way? Oh yeah, sure. Nuzan is like rolling Lulin off the bed. <laughs> Thud. <laughs> Lulin, get up! You can't you make talking... me... You were talking um, such a big game about getting. Uh, you gave me so much shit for not getting up and training. I'll be honest, like, I didn't expect Lula's to gonna, be the Lula's gonna look up with like, like the death glare. And who's the fucking teacher? Well, apparently it's, uh, it's me now. <laughs> Lulu's gonna like stand up, stretch, crack his back, and just pull out Maze Breaker. You want to fucking bet? Look, eh? we can, we can, uh, you're, we you're can. O, you're 0-5. You want become associate? <laughs> you want to be 0-6? Yeah, six? we can, we can I, sort the, we can, I, I, n n it won't be 0-6, uh, but uh, we'll sort this after we get out of the tower. You all break things yeah. outside. My money's on we all, we, we all just woke up. <laughs> maybe maybe have some this. tea. No, Maybe. it's okay, Karak. You're not used to this, but this is normal. Nusa just turns around and starts pushing the bed. <laughs> so you push the bed out of the way, and it leaves a pretty clearly defined, like, just a plain circle on the floor. And Mog walks over and begins pulling levers on the wall as you watch the windows of the room shift and lock into place. And as the sun is shining through them, you see that the stained glass makes a very clear circle teleportation circle pattern on the ground of the room. That's sick, eh? Now that, that's real clever. This, this one work. Uh, you, any of you know how to send messages? Yeah, our pizza yeah, friend does. does. Yeah. Yeah. Good, you, you send Mog message before you come, so Mog have time to put glasses in position. You got it, boss. Otherwise, Mog not know where you go. Not here, probably. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Dungeon Doggo's giving you the sass. Nah, she heard the door to the apartment building open. Oh, she is defending. giving the apartment the sass. She is defending the homestead. As you should. <laughs> okay, what you all need? You need provision. Uh, yeah, uh, two pizzas for the road. I'd say so. God. If you have any extra chalk. You want chalk? 
Yes. The people redeemed puppy. Get your ass up here. <laughs> oh no, she has to get in your lap. This is so sad for her. She's so upset. She hasn't wanted to be in it recently. She just wants to climb up and stand. She just hmm. wants to love. Okay. <laughs> um, you all decide you taking green man or uh, killing. Oh. oh green man. Oh shit, I forgot. I it think take, we were it take Mog man. about an hour to get struts ready to move. So while Mog do that, you have time to discuss. Okay, cool. uh, Put bed back before done. Mm -hmm. Will do. Will do. As he goes to the elevator and just pull, pushes a lever and it lowers <laughs> it lowers him down another floor. So, uh, Elliot, while you were in your pizza coma, we found out that uh, Mog has a... There was a lot of stuff that we found out last time, actually. Mm -hmm. Uh... If we activate, if we let act, let Mog activate the um the, the the key, the tower to unlock the lock, uh, it kills all the gods that he has the essence of. Um, I remember that. Okay, cool. That we're we're just I'm just covering all my bases because you were asleep for a long time. Um. Also, one of the one he has a giant room full of thousands of some some of them are corpses and some of them are copies and I'm unclear which ones are which, um, but there's several minotaurs that are from the city that have come here because of the god that lives there, and one of them is controlled by our green eyed. She kind of holds up fingers to do air quotes, friend. Um, who wants to help us navigate the city, um, if we bring his guy along, basically. So we're, like, definitely not doing that, right? We hadn't really decided. I mean, it has its benefits. Yeah, and the cons. Yeah. Most of the con of we're helping a parasitic creature that will most definitely infect us. Well, I don't know if it can. So some of us have been infected, namely me, apparently. Um, yep. And he's been wiped out of my brain. And I don't know if he can get back in after he's already died. Okay, and what uh, about, like, you know, the rest of us? Presumably we can, like, make a deal that he won't do that. I mean, he seems amenable to being helpful, I guess. Uh, he also has communication with the outside uh, because of all of the people that he is in. Um, okay. He's also working with... Uh, Drago and Ari already. Do I need to remind you of his past associates? No, you what don't. He did during the war? Yes. We I can't mean... trust him at all. He's already going to be there, though. He's already working with Drago and Ari. They've already made a deal with him. Okay. Well, obviously, we're just going to need to take a vote. Because, like, I, I don't know. I'm not going to convince you, Nuzan. I'm, not, I'm sorry, Nuzan. You're not going to convince me. And I'll do what the party wants, but I don't trust him. I, I, it's not really a matter of trusting him, in my opinion. I Like, you, you're saying this to me as if he didn't... I mean, he was the arbiter of my torture in the Red Pits. I don't like it, huh? But also, he's going to be there regardless, so we might as well get as many benefits as we can uh, from it. Uh, but yeah, we'll put it to a vote. I guess... kind of looks at the rest of the group yeah. for input. Uh. I guess... Uh... Anything else you guys have to say? I, I just... Oh, I don't know. Neither seems like a good option. I guess... I guess my vote is... 
is I think we should do some kind of deal here. I don't think we should continue to work with them after. But I think in this situation here, we should do a deal. Lulin, what's your vote? I reluctantly agree. More information to you, Elliot. Uh, the city that that's being run by the fire god. Both of my uncles are running it. That's not great. No. As, has Lillian told anybody else? Did I tell anybody else no, what happened? You just, only told just, me. Yeah. Um, yeah. Lillian's Lil, Lil, Lil gonna like, yeah. Um, it's not great. Two very charismatic and strong people in their own rights ruling a city that has all the citizens wrapped around their fingers obstructing to a god mm-hmm. of fire. I don't think a good thing is going to come out of the situation. And five against the city is eh, not impossible. I do think we do need help. Fair. I just question how helpful this guy is going to be, but I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not saying that we agree with the guy for the long run. Oh, I understand. There's a utility to it. Yes. And I, I mean, don't we disagree could... with the utility. What about you, be... Brock? Yeah. Out of everybody here, I have the least amount of information and the least amount of stake at what at, at what this decision would have. But it's but what still I, matter. But what I do know is that Better the fiend you know than the fiend you don't. I would rather... I know. I already know... I don't like the fire god. I honestly don't. I don't like the people... I don't like what he does. I don't like what he stands for. And if... And if our enemies are siding with them, then it only makes sense to make some allies that are enemies of them. The enemy of my enemy being my friend and all that. So I have to side with Nuzen on this. Better to have every opportunity than not have any. Can I make a history check to see if we've gained if if we've gained any information on what the my uncles are actually trying to do with the city? Because from all, or for what I, me, Brandon, remembers is, um, uh, they didn't want to be a part of the war, so they grabbed people, took them here. Well, me a history check. Unfortunate. Unfortunately, what you remember is what you re- is the best you can piece yeah. together. I'm gonna use one reroll. That's gonna be eleven. So, not much better. About the same. You would know that bringing everybody here to the best of your knowledge was their main goal. Yeah. And that leaves you all with 11 rerolls. I mean, we... Go ahead, Nuzan. I was just gonna say we we will be extremely cautious. We're not gonna just you know run into this bullheaded, and you know we can try and incorporate into the deal. I, I think 
considering we're in the Feywild, that deals may be a bit more binding here. It seems that way. I don't know if that counts for things from other planes, but I don't really know if this guy is from any plane, so... It can't hurt to explicitly line out that he has to stay out of our heads. The people in gods here, at least, yeah. consider deals to be a lot more binding, but whether that carries over from where you're from and is more a plain thing, I can't I can't say. How dare you, Greg? <laughs> Thanks, Greg. You're back up to 21 rerolls. Let's go. <laughs> Greg, the uh, so that so that's what the rerolls mean. Got yes. it. Yes. <laughs> chat can chat can can buy us some some leeway. A, oh a my god. Win. <laughs> Let's a go. To win. We Let's still go. we we use them thoughtfully, but yeah. yeah. Considering how many you still have, I assume so. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. As as I was gonna ask Karak, um, mm -hmm. what does the fire god do? Other than, in in air quotes, fire. Karak's gonna sort of take a second to just kind of, you know, get 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 some of his, his thoughts in order, as he sort of tries his best to be not not let his opinions of the fire god, yeah, detract from what from what he actually does as a as a thing. Let me just. I know, I know you're not the biggest fan of the guy, mm -hmm. but. You're our main source it's... of information about this plane. Mm -hmm. He is, like many gods, he is much more than the god of fire. He is the god of everything fire represents. Currently, if everything is, if, win if they are still under the effects of winter, they're the god of destruction, temptation, passion. They have conviction in everything. But when sp summer is here, they are the domain of creation and inspiration and of hearth and community. And while I love those, I can't help but feel that fire is a dangerous thing to let run wild. It consumes everything until there is nothing left. And... Out of everybody, they are probably the most divisive god of all of them. Of all the people for them to side by, your, your supposedly charismatic family members chose someone with, with a like mind, I would say. <laughs> Noted. Mm-hmm. One of my uncles, very charismatic to people, mm -hmm. very thoughtful, very articulate. Mm -hmm. The other one's brute, short-tempered, unironically hot-headed. Sounds like no matter what effect the gods are under, they have a they have an ally with them. I. Instead of having... Clearly they have multiple things in common. Mm -hmm. What would be the outlier that the fire god has that they don't? That's a good point. I, I don't know them personally, but... I would say if they are as hot-headed and determined... And, but along with that, filled with conviction, I would hazard to say, creation. They are the 
fire is used for so many different things, for crafting armor, to blowing glass, to everything, more or less. It's needed for survival, hence why there's a god. Are they are they the creative sort? Are they the, the type to, to foster that kind of... Lulu's eyes are going to go big. I... Are there other major cities of the Feywild, such as that? Uh, should I roll a history check for that? <laughs> you wouldn't have to. You would know that each god has their own domain, and each of those domains every, contains a city. Every god has a domain. Every with, domain has a city. With the ingredients in question, it sounds like a plot for an invasion. That only sounds what? about right. That mm, I don't know yet, Elliot. Um, first thought: invasion. Mm. Secondly, protection instead of invasion. Makes sense. All-consuming fire tends to want to expand, and but at the same time, fire. Brings but people together. They ran here, believing in him first. They ran here. Oh, I fucking hate this! And Lewin's just gonna like stomp. <laughs> He's just gonna like stomp to like the door. Uh, as, gonna, like, as you stomp, stomp over to the lift, it rises back up to the floor you're on. Lulu was just pacing. Mm -hmm. Outside the tower, you hear like mechanical whirs and clunks as it as the room. None of you actually move, but you get the feeling that the room spun. Mm -hmm. Should we maybe go uh go make that deal? I guess. Yeah. Yeah, we are all in agreement, at least with that, or at least most most of us. Yeah. <sighs> I would hazard to say that maybe only the one who has been infected in the past, hoping that you are immune of his effects, be the one to interact with him directly. Yeah. Sort of like that's... looking to news him. That's, yeah, that, that's completely understandable and doable. I was the one that talked to him last time, so. Him and the host that he's in. So what are we going to ask for in this deal exactly? We we don't want to be infected. Yeah, we don't want to be infected. A, we want him to. It's a temporary know. truce. I think that's important if we're in the Feywild. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We want him to, to take us uh, to to get us safe passage into the city through mm -hmm. the city i guess is the big thing the roses not, can get us in but to, to not to not be seen while we're there yeah mm -hmm. um i guess to take us as far as he can possibly i don't i don't i mean the the guy that he's infected is like eh? not super high ranking as far as i can tell uh within you know the the bold speaker i don't know cult cult alliance i don't know what they're not they don't fight so he's not like you know what i mean like he doesn't seem like he's that high up the food chain but you know if he can get us as far as possible it's gonna get us further than expected anyway from so, a distance, from a distance, you just hear Lulin calling them bastards, but in in Minotaur, because he's Anki. He an Anki boy. Anki. 
So, um, as I'm assuming as you're having this conversation, you go over to the lift to go down a floor. Yeah. <laughs> so as you get out, the tube containing the Minotaur is front and center. Like, it has been moved to the center of the room awaiting your decision, and the panel is behind it. But as you walk in, the Minotaur stands up as if he's going to yell something with an angry look on his face. And in a split second, the brown of his eyes is overtaken with green as he crosses his fingers in front of him. So have you made up your mind? Yes. We're agreeing to a temporary truce to work together. I wasn't aware we were ever at war. Well, you haven't exactly uh, been using your minions to help us out, so... No, but once I had free will, I also wasn't using them to hurt you. Remember that I approached you first, as he, as the Minotaur looks at Elliot. Elliot's not in the room. Where did you go? Elliot would not have gone in the room. Sorry, you're just... He would have stayed, he okay, would, he so would have stayed away from this. Okay, so you're still alone upstairs. Yeah. I think Lulin would be with him. Lulin, Lulin's too hot-headed. I'd probably say I'd be up there as well, considering Karak has been on the opposite end of this, where he's the only one who, you know. You'll remember, I did approach you first. I never had to make any of you aware of my existence. We're well aware of that. We would like to temporarily work together and then, you know, go back to ignoring each other by your standards then. We haven't decided if we're willing to work with you on a longer term basis. This is just to to get people out if they want to get out and to get what we need. And I gain what from this deal? I guess you get your one of your hosts released that would otherwise rot in here. Hosts are a dime a dozen. What do you want? Huh? I've told you what I want. Get me close enough to kill Vilkimbara. That you need to be more specific. Huh? What? How do you want that to happen? Huh? Clearly, well, there will be time for specifics later, but it won't be anything where you'll directly have to fight him for me. Either I'll succeed or I won't. But I don't know enough about the situation he's in right now to make that decision. Just like I don't know about enough about what you want here to agree to a deal. So let's lay everything on the table. My goal is to do what I was made for. I want to kill Belkinbara. What do you need? There's a kind of like it looks at Lyra for like a <laughs> how much are we going to tell him? Or that um, one, I Lyra, guess I would say. Lyra kind of speaks up and says we want to get as many people out alive as possible. Out of this place. Out of where they want to be. Out of this whole mess. So you want me to assist you in freeing the people of the city only if they want to be freed? Yeah, right? She kind of looks to news in. Yeah, I think that's... That was the point I was trying to make previously which is that uh, not everybody in the town uh, or in that city may have had the choice. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not as if isn't... here is like, sorry. Oh, bold speaker isn't always forthcoming with all of his plans. Uh, and I think it's fair to give people the opportunity to leave. Uh, if nothing else, uh, we have friends uh, that are trapped in the city and one that is being held captive. Uh, that we want to get out, that definitely don't want to be here. 
All right. An hour. So is my portion of the deal. I will help you save your friends and whoever else wants to be saved. Anything else? I mean, we'd like to get in as far as we can and assess it. What's going on, I suppose. We'd like to be given the opportunity to interfere if there's real danger afoot. I can get you into the city. I can even get you information. Okay. That's not a problem for me. Now what are you what are you what are you offering? Um Lyra's gonna make eye contact with Nuzin um and say in her head Um I could try and contact Velkin and we could offer information about where he is. I mean as far as we know I mean, I think we know where he is. He's attached. I mean, we could definitely offer, we can we can mention that we can offer information in return. We can give him the information about who he's attached to right now. I just don't know if it'll be enough. But I have it's worth a shot, I think. When you look back at him, he just goes, have the two of you come to an agreement, or do you need more time to talk? No. We've, we've, we know who has Vulcan currently, and where they are on our plane. So we can give you that information. Information for information. That seems like a fair deal. Now about the matter of passage. I can get you into the city. Can you get me to where Velkin is? Where are you currently? Are you only- you're not only in this one person. Oh no no. How does that work? I'm just focusing my attention here. I'm in a lot of places. I'm with your friends, Drago yeah. and Aerie. Yeah. I'm in a medical tent watching your mother, Miss Dream Shadow. I'm in the Zrayan court. I'm in the remains of Stipvale. And a hundred other places in between. Then what kind of passage do you seek? Well, if everything I've heard about Velkin Barra is true, he's a very intelligent man. He's not just going to let somebody walk up to him, but he knows all of you. So if you were to vouch for somebody, it could be enough to get me close. Or to get me access to somebody who's already close to whoever he's attached to. I think that Lyra's gonna make an eye contact with Nuzin and say, I don't know if we want to go this far, but if you want to, I'll stand by it. I think we don't really have a choice. We kind of, we have to Give. I'll tell you what. We'll trade in information. That's a deal we can strike easily. And I'll get you into the city. On the agreement that upon leaving wherever it is we may be, we approach a second deal in good faith.
Does that, that sound could... amenable to you? We just have one stipulation. You don't do want me in any of your heads. Yes. Easy enough. I don't okay. intend to spend any more time there regardless. You all have a propensity for almost getting yourself killed. And I don't want to be revealed quite that quickly. Well, as long as we're all in agreement there... That tends, that's the biggest uh, sticking point for mm -hmm. most of the group. So I think that that is a, a deal we can make. It's a deal then. And you feel something in the air around you lock into place. Like you feel the deal bind itself. You don't know the consequences of what'll happen if it is broken on either side. Because it's just me and Lyra here, then, is it just us that are bound by this deal? Right now, yes. Okay. If we make a, another deal at another time, then... Yes, but you... But to be saying that, you are positive that you are the only two bound by this deal... But that doesn't mean that you not preventing the options of somebody else would prevent it from breaking. Yeah, we couldn't, like, it, just let, uh, you know, Elliot, like, wipe him out for no reason kind of thing. Because uh, that but, wouldn't be, because that would be operating yeah. in bad faith. Yes, uh, but... Uh, the words you know, were chosen if... very carefully. Yes, uh, <laughs> yes. Uh... Now, if you'll go to the panel behind me, there's... Two lovers there. I believe that one of them is as your does as your small friend says and incinerates somebody. The other one should be a release. Feel like that's better for you, Lyra. Okay. I mean, do I remember which one is which? Do, am I very confident? You remember that when Nam was at, that when Mog was asking you if you wanted to murder him, he had his hand on the right lever. And I'm sure about that. Yes, you are sure about that. No, I'm not. I'm a, hey, Mog, can you let this guy out? <laughs> you, hear no, you hear no response. Mog is on oh, a different okay. floor than you. Okay, are we really sure it was the left one, guys? I'm, like, pretty sure it was the left one. Because he had his hand on the other one. We've made our deal, like, oh. Miss Dream Shadow. If you pull the wrong lever, it makes no difference to me. I'll find you again. Yeah, but there's a guy. This, you know, you, this is still a guy. I'll still be killing someone. I can assure you that left to his own Here. devices, he would do the same to you. Would you prefer me to pull it? I can pull it. No, it's okay. I'll do it. I'll do, it's my decision. She pulls the left lever. <laughs> you pull the left lever, and you hear, you you watch as the top and the bottom of this like jar kind of vat he's in turn as the glass just kind of fades away kind of dissolves like sugar when you put it in water as he steps out well shall we go get the rest of our traveling companions oh. then one second i need to catch my breath <laughs> and and then then it kind of on. like puts a reassuring <laughs> hand on lyra's shoulder <laughs> oh that was like the worst pop quiz ever <laughs> okay <laughs> And we step onto the elevator to go yep. back up to the room. All right. So while they were down there making the deal, what were the three of you talking about in the room? As the as the elevator was going down, Lulu, Lulu was just like pacing, and then he would stop pacing, and then he would just like drop and just start like doing like push ups, get back up, pace again. He's doing like. 50, 60, 70 reps, too. Mm -hmm. To answer so Chat's question, I... yes, I still have no idea where the cat ears are. <laughs> My guess is a little Missy walked off with them at some point. Because they have bells on them and they jingle. Elliot, I... Karak, are you guys talking about anything? 
I know it can't be easy being on the, on the, in the minority on the vote, Elliot. Trust me, I've no. I've been there. I I understand. know that no matter what my vote was, it wouldn't have mattered. But from what Newsen has told me, it they I trust me, I don't want them having any hold here either. It seems too similar to things. Hmm. Yes, uh, I I understand. I mean, yeah, I don't I don't know what much more there is to say. Honestly, I don't trust that creature as far as I can throw it. And you know, it's an ethereal being, so there's no throwing you happening. You can't even throw it. Wow, that's not that's less than that. You trusted a yeah. negative amount. Wow. That's a lot. <laughs> I think that it will attempt to kill us, given any opportunity. Well, then we'll just have to be prepared for that. Don't yeah, give it well, an inch. Only give it as much as we're allowed give to. It a mile. <laughs> I, um... I'm not quite sure about everything that's been going on, but... It seems like you all have at least a decent head on your shoulders. Maybe when I first met you all, I did not think that at all. But I don't know. You all, you all have helped. You, you all have helped a fair bit. Maybe it's just because we've had a bit of a time to think about everything, and so now there's less in the pile now. Through the pile, the pile mm -hmm. must shrink. It has, and then grow, and then shrink again. Such is the nature of things. As you're saying this, you hear the elevator beginning to come back up, and when it does, Lyra and Newson are standing there. Would you be standing behind him or in front of him? In front. They're not, they're not letting him out. The two of them are standing in front of the large minotaur clad in the black and red robes from the cage. Well, shall we get moving then? Uh, sure. Mr. Burning Oak, excellent to see you again. Um, Elliot just heads for the door. So you're getting on the elevator with him? You're uh, on the third floor right now. Oh, is the right elevator now. the only way out? You're on the third place. floor right now. Um, well, in that case, uh, I think Elliot is gonna... Sorry, it's been a minute since I've had to use any spells. Um, <laughs> Elliot is going for a window. <laughs> I got Are you oh sure God. you want to do Chill that? Out. Knowing that the windows create the teleportation circle that is your one way back here. Do they not open? <laughs> they're, they're stained glass. <laughs> Damn, I've seen stained glass on hinges. Not Have you? period, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Simone put it on a slider. Um, Elliot will wait for the next elevator, at the very least. <laughs> the very least. If windows it's aren't so an petty. option, he'll wait for the next elevator. <laughs> okay, Elliot. Um, El Elliot's just you... gonna like look and be like, "Yeah, I think I might have a cold. I'd hate for uh, someone to catch anything." Oh, I can assure you, nobody will be catching anything. It's part of our agreement. Mm -hmm. It is magically binding, as far as we can tell. Well, it's good to know for future reference. I'm sure it's binding. Not sure what the consequences are yet. I'll wait for the next would, elevator. Would I know on an idea of what the consequences of breaking a deal are, considering I'm from here? Roll history. Roll history, got it. Just That's that a nat 20. 20. <laughs> Damn! Uh, um, let, me, let me put it this way for you, Karak. Mm -hmm. Nobody in your time ever broke a deal... Because you grew up on bedtime stories of the people who did. 
Mortifying. Terrifying. Soul ripped from your body and shredded. Terrifying. Make sure you stick to that deal. If it... oh. oh, I intend to. No, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm not... I don't know exactly what's going on with you. I don't know what your end is. I'm more about the, the two people that I've been adventuring with the past couple of days. But, I mean, you know, it's important to do, it's important for survival. It's important to do yes. so. Yes, perhaps we should make introductions. My name is Spectra. And you are? Sorry, I'm just making sure. And you are? <laughs> I, go, I go by Karak. Good. I can I can assure you I'm not trying to pull anything. I did make the deal that we would operate in good faith. That's a very good... Just turns to news and goes, that's a very good thing to put down. Very, very good point to make. <laughs> no, it wasn't their suggestion. Oh. But I do agree. It's important for all parties. Mm -hmm. If this is going to work... You kind of, like, you watch the eyes just slowly drift over to Elliot before drifting back. You are going to have to trust me. After all, you're from here, aren't you? You've been to the halls of the Flame Keepers? A long, long time ago, yes. So you know that even within those halls, the flame reveals the shadows, and if you don't trust what you're doing implicitly... It could spell doom for all of us. Mm. Still going to wait for the next elevator, Mr. Burning Oak? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think I will. See you at the bottom. I'll, I'll go ahead and join on the elevator, because there's no reason for it to come up and then just go back down. <laughs> I'm just trying to avoid an awkward situation right now. And you, Mr. Bold Speaker? Lulin's uh, currently doing one-handed push-ups while uh, convincing Maze Breaker to be heavier and heavier. Roll me, roll me strength. Or roll me athletics. They're get, you're get, you're doing them, but the more you're convincing Maze Breaker to be heavier, the less he's trying to be light, and they're getting. They're getting rough. <laughs> <laughs> Looks Feel like anything he has a but pain. More reps. Feel anything but pain. <laughs> yes, well. I suppose we'll see you on the ground floor then. Now how do you operate this thing as he walks over to the side of the elevator? I think we just will it to go down. <laughs> Uh, if, if one of you could. I don't... D d do we actually remember how... It just it has a lever that when you push it forward, it goes down, and when you pull it back, it goes up. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll just push down on it then. Which is very funny to watch Mog operate due to his size. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a man built something that wasn't designed for his size? No, he found it. He didn't it. build it. Stole the tower it. used to belong to Velkin. My bad. Mm. Carry on. It's, it's okay. okay. You were in a pizza coma. There's a lot of there's a yeah. lot of information, small things that we learned. So the good. elevator goes down to the ground floor. Everybody steps off, and you see Mog frantically like, like he's. It seems like it seems like he's in. All, it almost looks like a crow's nest on a mast in the center of the room. But it's surrounded by levers as he's sitting in the middle of it, just spinning around, pulling and pushing levers and turning knobs. Sorry, we gotta. We had to split it up into two groups. Eh? Nuzan says as she's walking out. Eh? Yeah, yeah, that okay. You decide to take Green Man then. Yes, we're taking the Green Man. Okay, good. He kind of looks down. He kind of looks down at the Minotaur that's with you. If you ever come back. I'm gonna incinerate you real good. <laughs> I think that's a valid threat. Spe just Spectra Mog just didn't. looks back up at him. Thank you for your hospitality as well. <laughs> what? Why do I imagine Mog 
feels like the, the deal set in and he's just like internally it's just like I don't care, I mean it. <laughs> the deal doesn't Mog doesn't qualify in your deal. What's gonna ha what's gonna oh. happen if Mog dies? He's just gonna punch another one out of a tube and start the process <laughs> over. Mog found the workaround. <laughs> Maybe. You can make as many deals as you want if you got enough bodies. Is it bound to? Is the deal bound to the soul or the body? That's the real question. Soul, in, in, from what I was told. Well then, keep hey. it away. Hey! Hey! She woo woo. Miss. She boof. Borf. Borkity bork. Wait, I wanted to say no. Wait, didn't we learn that the that? Wait. Isn't it bound to the names, not the souls or the bodies? We, I think it can be bound to names. I'm unclear. I mean, oh, we traded yeah. some names like currency, but we've never made any, like, I don't think we ever made any, like, binding deals, uh, did we? Yeah. No, we didn't. We, we didn't. just traded in, in names that didn't belong to us. <laughs> um... <laughs> As you all, as you all wait, the elevator goes back up, and I'm assuming Elliot and Lulink get on, and it comes back down. Yeah. And Mog, as um, everybody I comes think... down, pulls a lever as the mast descends into the ground, and the crow's nest just hits the floor with a thud. Okay, you need a, you need anything else? You got got anything to get us through the city unseen? Hmm. Mog not good at stealth. You got magic stuff? Mog can make stronger. You know, we do. How long will that take? Eh? Depends on magic stuff. Uh, Nuzan holds out Hugh. Mog kind of takes Hugh. He walks over to a workbench as his little monocle magnifier falls back into place. Mm, this nice axe. It's gotten me through a lot. Mm. Mog can make stronger, but will take time. Tell you what, before you come see Mog again, you manage to get more god essence, Mog give all your stuff upgrades. Okay. Uh, do you, do, how do we acquire god? How do we, how do you collect god essence? Lots of way. Blood, teeth, hair. Okay, just has to be somebody that works for the god. No, it ha it from god from the god. Oh, from the god itself. Yes. Oh. Oh. Okay. It, uh, well. Uh, Mog did a lot of lie, cheat, and steal to get what Mog have. Clearly. All right. Well, we'll we'll do our best. If you manage kill one, Mog like Mog like hands you Hugh back and walks over and reaches under the desk and pulls out like a three foot syringe. Use this. Probably get enough God essence so that well get enough God essence before God disappear that Mog can still use to shatter Sky. Oh, all right. <laughs> This is like look holding this three foot syringe and kind of like looks at Elliot who has the the bag of holding. Uh, Lulin can... faints. Or Croc, Croc doesn't okay. know how Do you to feel. Have like a cap for that, maybe. Why you? Why you need cap? Do you know, just know so we don't my, accidentally stab my each bag? other. You have frequent yeah, problem where you stick pointy end in self? I just didn't, not frequently, just occasionally. You know, I'm clumsy, I don't know. She, that is true, she's very clumsy. <laughs> he kind of walks over to a shelf and he looks over a lot of bottles and he just pulls off a cork and just sticks it on the, walks over to news and just sticks it on the end of the syringe. That works, so that's pretty good. Now, that's, now remember... <laughs> If you kill God and you don't use, Mog Knight might not be able to shatter Sky. Okay, got it. 
also make remember. sure to take it off take off the cork before using it. Yeah. My <laughs> very good very good point. Yeah, that was you know good 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 thing to remember. We might have forgotten. Yes. I mean, if God if God lose if God lose essence, ne they get weaker too. So if you decide to use needle pre mortem, could work. Okay. Well, we'll remember that. I believe that's Thanks. just mortem. No, mortem is death. Post mortem is death. No, post mortem's after death. Yes. Yep. What the what Jesus. he said. All things, right. all things must die, and we all must know our suffixes. <laughs> yes. Susan <laughs> uh, offers the syringe to Elliot for the bag. Look, carrying this around is not gonna is not gonna make us any friends. You understand it how really this bag isn't. works? Yeah. I stick my hand in here and reach around until I find the thing I'm looking for. It's cork on the end of it. It's fine. You're not going to stick yourself with it. Worst come worse, it won't do anything to you until you pull plunger. Yeah. Fine. Or I Wait, guess a plunger get caught. I, I, no, no. Mog have much more elaborate plan for you. You can roll me an insight check if you want to. <laughs> I'm gonna, you know what? Why not? <laughs> Let's get Susan's that insight. gonna go. And start uh, attempting to wake up Lulin, who's fainted. He was a hundred percent. Oh my just god, gonna... twinning! He was a hundred percent just gonna stab you with this fucking syringe. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay. Okay. Not everything in this workshop is high tech. <laughs> okay then. If. Well, other other good use syringe has. If one of you die, and you use fast enough, Mog might be able to put Soul in new body. Oh, it's useful. That is intro. Okay, good to know. Good. Unless you plan. unless you bring me pieces of pieces of whoever die though, you're just going to have to use what Mog have on hand. Got it. All right. For the record. You're not allowed to put me in a body that is less than five feet tall. All right, let's go. You use what Mog have on hand? I mean, you could be a knoll. They've got a lot of knolls. Mog does have a lot, a lot of knolls. Anyway, you all probably go. When Mog stop next, he's going to try to figure out if your soul thing have any collaboration with dragon thing. Oh, yeah. I mean, good luck. Yes, Mog had several associates waiting to be practice dummy. <laughs> if I stay here any longer, I'm just going to get more confused. Thank you uh, so much, Mog. You have been a lovely, a lovely... Uh... It's not house guest. It's the opposite of house guest. Host. 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 You have been a lovely... The host. hostess with the mostest. Mm -hmm. Newsom's like <clears throat> patting Lulin's cheek, like Lulin's time to get up. We kind of have to leave. There's somehow like three yellow canary canaries swirling <laughs> around Lulin's head. <laughs> she like grabs his arm and like hoists him upwards. Huh? I really don't. Know. I won't want to have to carry you, bud. The needle's gone. It's fine. You know, I always found it very ironic for somebody that has healing properties. I don't like the doctor. Oh, magic faster, anyway. He's not wrong. He's yeah. very right. Anyway, Mog think if Mog think if you head straight towards sunrise from here, it should take you about three day reach city. Mm -hmm. All right. I guess we better start walking. That's gonna take a while. Hmm. Ray can't wait for the magical wilderness. <laughs> this will be beautiful. I feel like it should be quite beautiful this time of year. In the middle of winter? I mean, win winter is more of a subjective term, but yes. You've got your fluffy coat. Yeah. Yes, it's, it does. 
Spectre kind of looks at you, Elliot. It does seem like you are the most prepared for this. I mean, Lula and I still have our, our winter coats as well. Nuzan says, like, holding out an arm as usual and placing her hand on the fur to show that it has, like, about a half an inch of depth. <laughs> Spectra looks at you, Nuzan, as he brushes his own fur. I'm aware. <laughs> it's great. It is quite useful. Gosh, I cannot I'll be imagine honest. I'm just... I'm I'm just used to traveling at all manners of years, so at at this point it's just All of you get all nice. of you get out Mog's house now. <laughs> Mog <laughs> house go as he walks back to the crow's <laughs> nest. Of course, of course. And Karak's gonna go ahead and walk out the door. Newsen helps Lula and Apo and heads that way as well. Uh when you head out the door, it is already about three feet off the ground. Oh jeez gonna hop down yeah and as you all stand in the clearing you watch as the observatory lifts itself up on these kind of trembling legs that don't really look like they should be strong enough to support it and it just begins to climb off through the as it gets higher and higher it just begins to climb off going over the tops of the trees so he doesn't make too obvious of a path huh? By all known laws of locomotion, this tower should not walk. Mog's tower walks anyway because it doesn't care what it thinks, what others think it's impossible. Mog doesn't give a shit about laws. <laughs> that that man is somehow terrifying, and yet not terrifying. Comforting, almost. I won't say comforting. Not the word, word I would use. <laughs> <laughs> God, I don't mean... think comforting's the word I would use. Um, I think just nice. Crazy, yeah. but interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If there's a nicer word for crazy, yes. Um, uh, eccentric? Yes. Sounds right. Yes, I agree. Shall we get going nice then? word for crazy. Yeah. Got a, got a long way to walk, apparently. Yes. Does anybody know any good songs? I swear to God, if you start singing. Well, I wouldn't have asked if I knew some, Mr. Mr. Burning Oak. Perfect. As he just begins walking towards the sunrise. Unfortunately, Nob's not here to be main entertainment. So as you all yeah, begin I, your I, journey, I... we're going to do three D100 rolls a day. Ooh. Oh boy! Two of them are going to be for events. One of them's going to be for weather. Mm. So I'm going to need our first one to see what the weather of the day is. Cool. This one is going to be brought to you by Earl, the fat little bastard. Thirty-four. All right. Those are. <laughs> Don't worry about my roll. Okay. <laughs> As... 20 plus 4, D4. <laughs> <laughs> As you all begin walking, um, as you all begin walking, you see storms begin to gather overhead and it begins to rain. And as it begins to kind of splatter off your coats and, you know, across you, you realize that it is not raining rain. It is raining different colors of ink. <laughs> Lyra's trying to bottle it she's like oh my god I needed a resupply <laughs> just holding out her little, hiding her books holding out her little ink wells the painted rains are lovely this time of year this might actually be do good be for me and Lula do, do be careful with your clothes though you're, you're going to have a hard time getting them clean again do you oh, think it'll yeah, stain fur I don't think so it would make hunts a lot easier if it did Lilith's going to like brush his hair out and get like a get like a shampoo going and then just leave it out. Like, I think it'd be fun. <laughs> All right. So, any of you who are not actively trying to keep it from hitting you by the end of this storm, which somebody roll me a d6. One. Which the storm is a is a flash storm. It only lasts about one hour. 
but is going to be covered in just a rainbow of ink. <laughs> and Can I roll, uh, kind of roll a, uh, a luck check to see if Luma's hair is dyed? Uh, I would I would say you don't have to. I would say it is. Cool. Uh, <laughs> chat. Give you, you guys are up to uh, <laughs> Lulin's hair now. Hang on, I have a. I, I can. I can do. I can do this. I can do this. I can just make. Choose a, just choose a random pride flag and see what you get. No, I. I, I can do this. I can make everybody rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> something. Something. We have the technology. To to, to answer your question, Karak, it would be if if there is a pansexual flag, it would probably be pansexual flag because that's what I've always envisioned Lulin being. There is a pansexual flag. Then it is that is it. It's pink, it yellow, is. and blue. Mm-hmm. That's a vibe. Boom. Think like the colors of a printer, basically. Yeah. Uh... Everybody except for Lyra apparently is rainbow colored. <laughs> Why am I <laughs> left out? I, I Do you don't... keep forgetting right. to add Lyra. No, I added her. It just didn't activate when I clicked it. You were too busy right. bottling. <laughs> You had the jar. Yeah, you above caught. Your head. You yeah, you caught it you all. You caught every drop. <laughs> <laughs> true, <laughs> true. Did did she manage to catch any? <laughs> you did. You managed to fill up both of your ink wells with rainbow paint. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, it acts like the pens from like elementary school, where as you draw, the, the color, color changes. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She's gonna make some wonderful. Notes. And then somebody roll me a d100 for your encounter. I want to do, do it, it this time. Oh, you're doing it. Mm-hmm. Okay, do it. You can do the next one. There's two a day. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll do one for the next day then. Yeah, there's enough rolls for everybody. It's great. Yeah. I think I've caused enough grief party. I'll, I'll let you guys roll. <gasps> Not the one. <laughs> Not the... <laughs> Sky, what did you do? I literally looked at the D6 and I went, oh no, that's not the 100 roll. And then it was one. Sky. Why am I so good at getting the extremes of D100 How did rolls? You do that? All right. As you're walk as you're walking about Somewhere. the t- about the time Mom's to take around. a about the time <laughs> to take a break. You come across a beautiful clearing in the woods. In the center is a massive tree with musical instruments made out of sticks, twigs, and reeds dangling from its branches. As the wind blows through it, it is kind of subtly playing the instruments like wind chimes, creating a kind of eerie melody. Oh, is this like like an outpost for for Karak, the goddess? You would know that this is called the Dancing Grove, and it is in fact a shrine to Nyssa. This is uh, one of one of Nyssa's. Uh, it's, it's one. Of, it's uh, it's one of the. It's a rather beautiful uh, shrine. I will That's say. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Musical trees. I vibe with it. Yeah. So do people like leave their? instruments here is that what what, how, what do you do here Where no 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 they like... so it seems like some of them as you're looking at it some of them are made from the tree itself mm-hmm. and some of them do appear to be tied up using like twine and fishing rope and stuff mm-hmm. should we leave something or no or I feel like we did we did a wonderful job helping helping Nissa earlier with the uh with their with their issue. I would just take this as a sign that that they that they do hope that we are we are okay at least in some way. Um getting a closer look at this, does it look like people have like passed by here recently or roll survival know, anything out of the ordinary? Cool. Cool cool. Don't think Claire is very good at that, but that's okay. Skills, survival, six. You can't tell. You can't tell if anybody's been through here recently. Mm, it's just so. It's just pretty. It's so pretty. It really is. It's kind of pretty. Are you all stopping? Or are you continuing on? 
Um, I think seeing that, like, other instruments have been tied up. Like, Nuzan doesn't have any instruments, but she does have, like, some bottles and things. So she's gonna just pull out, like, an empty bottle and, like, blow over the top of it to, like, blow a note through the bottle and then, like, tie it up. As you tie the bottle up to this tree, you hear a voice from the branches. Oh, thank you! <laughs> oh, I didn't know anybody was here! Well, somebody has to take care of the grove. As you see, scuttling through the branches, a squirrel sits on the one that you are tying it to and helps you finish the knot. I appreciate <laughs> it. And this squirrel has on its side a small flute, like a small pan flute. And is wearing like the gr- a green like Robin Hood hat. <laughs> what brings you this way, travelers? Oh, we're headed to the city. Ah. Okay. Well, then you best be aware the dancing rivers are shifting. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. There's a small chance of floods. Mm-hmm. Good to know. You should be. Got- you should be okay if you stick to the trees. If you see the flowers closing their blooms, that's your sign to get to high ground. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, how devastating are these floods? Like, do other animals run away? Most of us just climb. Mm-hmm. But most of mm-hmm. us know the paths of the rivers, so it's not that big of a deal. Mm-hmm. Can I help you with? Can I help you with anything else? Uh, yeah. Could you just? Here, so I have this new inkwell, and if you could just help me map out the river. <laughs> I, <laughs> that's not how they work. I, I have a map. We don't need another one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, but has, I, he I has a map. Make, you do not need another one. I wanted to make some cute notes with my new uh, inkwell, oh, if you, I guess. If, so, if, no, if, I get it, though. Yeah, if, we, we have a map already. Oh, it's fine. If you, if you would um, like, I can I can hand you my map, and you can make your own copy, and then you can put your own notes on it. Like, I'd <laughs> I'm more than happy to help because it's you know, okay. I I don't want it to be redundant. No, it's, it's okay. It's no, okay. no. <laughs> if you have, She's if you like, have okay, no, okay, I'll sit down and you, look. Um, you have and, you have an outsider perspective on this. I'm, okay, I mean, I'll, I'll take a look. Um, well, t- well, while they're doing that, thank you, tall one, for your tribute. Yeah, no problem. This has been uh, pretty helpful to us. So I thought it was only. Only right to give back a little bit. And I'm not very musically talented, but you know, yes, you- anything can make a note if you try hard enough. If you all, if you all have some time, I could help you with some. You could help me with something else. What might that be? Well, there's a cottage north of here, and they've set up this this most confounding contraption around their seed their seed fairy. Uh-huh. See, any time I try to jump onto it, I just kind of slip off and fall. Oh, I see. I see. That does seem like an issue. But if you could bring it to me, I could get you something from the tree. Like what? An instrument? Or or if you're trying to find the dancing rivers before they hit, I could ha- I could see if I could go find a dowsing rod for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. News I, I want to help the squirrel with his. Squirrel but of course, trap. only if you have time. I mean, if so not, I, really want to I will defeat the their contraption no, eventually. I... As he takes like a small paw and begins stroking his chin with it. <laughs> hmm. You just seem to be the more thumb abled among us. That is true. That is true. I mean. I don't know if the people would take very kindly to us stealing their their seed things. I don't know if we want to get into more fights, but maybe we could help you somehow. A, yeah, I could be so stealthy. I could do. I could get it with my mage hand. I want to help so bad. <laughs> you could remove the contraption for me. That is, I guess that's true. I guess that's true. So you said you keep falling off of it? Yes, they've put this sort of cone over the top, so I can't get onto it from above like I used to. I see, I see. I just kind of slip and fall off, and it's too high above the ground for me to jump to it. 
And they seem to have been greasing the steak it's on. It's almost like they don't understand that that's where I get my meals. I think it's probably that they understand too well that you get your meals from there. Well, who else are they supposed to be for? Um, I'm guessing other creatures. Like what? I guess they just... I mean, it's not nice of them, but I assume they just have beef with I mean, you. That is squirrel I mean, discrimination, and I will not have it. Yeah. That uh, doesn't you seem know? right. E either all the animals or none of them. Well, I, I'm not sure I would agree with that. <laughs> well, then all the animals that eat, that eat, you know, seeds and nuts and such. Like, they're, they're limiting it to only a certain seed eater, which yes. doesn't seem quite right. Only the ones who have those pesky wings. Exactly. That's just, that's not right. Which is no, 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 very strange is... considering they have the scarecrows in the fields. You'd think that they would just leave those for them and the nuts for me. Huh. Okay, so how, how close is this cottage? Oh, a couple of miles. Not that far. Okay. If it's important to you, Lyra, I'm okay with going to do that real quick. Eh? I think we should do this, yeah. This seems... Okay. Worth it. <laughs> All right. As you begin to head that way, we're going to take a quick break. Sounds good. We will see everyone in about five minutes. I wonder who we're going to talk shit about today. <laughs> Your see everyone soon.
All right, we're back. So you all head north up this road. And as you're heading up the road, eventually on the left, you see a large set of fields with scarecrows standing in it. And you see on the junction of the path leading up to this co cottage, a bird fe feeder kind of seemingly hanging from nothing with a large cone over the top. I'm, I'm gonna get this cone. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna mage hand and try to just pull it off. Is that all? So you made you cast mage hand. How are you going about this? Um, because remember, it is hanging Mira? from nothing. The chain is taut, but it, there is nothing that it is hanging from. Didn't he say that? It was like a pole. A yeah, there pole. was a pole, a greased pole. He did. You don't see one. Okay, interesting. Um, Lyra's like sneaking up to it until she's in range for Mage Hand, and then she's trying to like pull the cone all the way off the top. Uh, I want to detect magic on it before Lyra. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she's like, she's like rolling behind bushes and shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, okay, okay. All right. Uh, be sure to move. I did put you guys on the it map, is. so be sure to move yourselves on the map oh, here within map. appropriate distances. Mm hmm. Yo. Yo. I unpaused the game. Big preach. We can do it now. Is it the little orange thing? It is. This thing over over here. I have to see. I need to be within Actually, thirty you know feet of it. This this tree and he is climbing. Yes, this is where I will be. Alright, so when you de cast Detect Magic, you see that there is Illusion Magic, and the chain is completely fake, and it is in fact on a post in the ground. Okay. You also see that there is magic coming off of the pitchfork in the field. Mmm. What kind? Enchantment. Okay. Lyra. Yeah, yeah. Do you think I should lift up lift it up? Yeah, so they've it's definitely on a pole. They've magically made it look like it's on a chain for some reason. I don't know, to be more whimsical, I guess. A lot of, I feel the whimsy. Whimsy is an <laughs> whimsy is a very fun pastime here. Um but there's also a pitchfork over there that's enchanted as well. Just so you're aware. Okay. I don't know is if that the two one are we connected. can see on the map. It is. Yeah. Oh. Cool. Um, alrighty. Uh well, I'm just gonna I'm just I'm just gonna try and use Mage Hand to pull the cone off this. It's, and uh, since we now know the chain is an illusion, she's just not gonna worry about it. Like she's just gonna try and pull it through the chain basically. So you try to use Mage Hand to pull the cone off of the top of this, and it seems like it is very firmly rooted to the bird feeder. Like, the whole thing shakes when your hand tries to move it. Oh, okay, this is heavier than I expected. Um, Here, I can use my hand to help, uh, and use it also cast Mage Hand. <laughs> As the two of your Mage Hands begin trying to lift it up, Newsin, you can gradually see the invisible pole being wiggled out of the ground. Mm. We're not taking the cone off, but we are taking the whole thing. Is that... Does that work? Like, would you think it'll be able to... The squirrel will be able to get the... I mean, technically he asked us to bring the whole thing originally, so I guess... Okay. Cool, let's keep going. We're gonna try and pull it out of the ground. Uh, as you're still pulling it out of the ground, give me a perception check. Okay. Both of us. Anyone who's close specifically for sound. Uh, would Not you say that I am too far away? I would. But you have wolf ears, so continue. I'm, I'm, <clears throat> assu I'm assuming that I'm too far. You are too far away. Yeah. Uh, so, 
Just Lyra. My both ears are mostly just amused from here. You hear the door to the house opening up. As an old man, like, turns... He doesn't see you guys yet. Turns around and closes it. And he just begins walking down... He just begins walking over to the field. Oh, jeez, you guys, there's a, there's a person. There's a person. And they're just gonna try and hide. <laughs> Wouldn't that be going um, towards the field? Hold on. Can we like it? I'll get you a token for him. I'm I'm all messed up. I don't get I'm somehow stuck in measuring. Oh, that's way bigger than it was supposed to be. <laughs> As a massive man. Do I just have that's like a big a boy? Normal, do I just have I'm a normal re- dude? Uh, we'll use this one. What I'm regular old dude? Just Just begins walking over, and he he opens a gate and walks into the field. And as he's walking by things like the pitchfork, he's waving their his hand, and they begin to rise up and begin working on the field. Are you guys still proceeding with Operation Steal the Bird Feeder? I don't understand why you want to steal the bird feeder, Um. but. Because the squirrels he technically he us. technically only asked you for the seeds. Yeah. Does it look like um, we could tip it over if we pull it out of the ground and like pour the seeds out? It absolutely does. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wiggle it out of the ground. We're gonna pour okay. all the seeds into my mage hand because I have a minotaur sized mage hand. <laughs> Lulin so and Karak, Lulin and Karak, because you're standing in the center of the path. I need you to roll me dis- disadvantage stealth. What if I'm not trying to be stealthy? What if I just want to seem like I'm just I'm just hanging around because I like how the place looks? Then we will proceed with this. But Lulin, if you want to, be, if you don't want him to notice, you roll stealth. Um, I don't think Lulin's worried about stealth. All right. He's just excited to be like around nature. Mm-hmm. It's, it's clearing his mind. So when he notices you, the old man walks over to the fence and leans on it. Well, howdy there, strangers! Oh, oh, oh uh, what brings hello? you to this part of town? Oh, well, I suppose know, it's just, not really a town, I, just my humble abode. I'm, I'm, it's I'm, a very I'm, nice humble abode. It's you, very beautiful. Oh, just admiring your work here. It looks lovely. Uh, you know, it t- it took some setting up, but I think it's I think it's doing pretty good. You know, seeds are planted for the year. Lovely, oh. and then and then eventually you'll have some wonderful crops for later this year, hopefully. Oh yeah, we're grow- mm-hmm. I mean, we got some, we got some some cabbage, some squash growing, a little bit of a uh, little bit of carrots. Oh, I haven't had fresh. I haven't had. I haven't. I don't think I've had fresh produce in a very, very long time. You haven't. I. I. Well, I'm. I'm more akin to the to the hunting aspects of nature myself. But you know, it's always good to have something like a, a good set of potatoes with a nice with a nice roast duck every now and then. No, absolutely. You know, I just mm-hmm. I just finished my lunch. Would you two boys like to come in and have something to eat? I. Oh, simply, I would. I wouldn't be hooded. Hooded. Oh, you know, no, it would be it would be my pleasure. <laughs> I think at this point, Elliot literally off. falls out of the tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a uh, you got a friend with you know I was I was quite keen on climbing trees when I was a boy, and that's a pretty big one. I understand, son. Come on over here with your friends. Hey, I heard food. Well, yeah, I, I offered to, you know, get out some of the leftovers from my lunch and feed you and your friends here. They said they haven't had a vegetable in a long time, and you know, it's one of the primary things you need in your diet. Mm. Well, that's not true. You guys had pizza. Oh, no, sorry. I ate all the pizza. Yeah, you ate. You Never ate mind. Yeah. <laughs> oh. only, only now that's, some, one now that's something. I used to have an old dairy cow named Betsy, but I really wish that she was still around, because I miss having a good pizza. I grow the wheat, the tomatoes. I oh, just I just haven't been able to get any good cheese in a while. Mm-hmm. Ooh, interesting. I wonder is 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 there anywhere like we could go get you some cheese? It's like a town nearby. 
I mean, yeah, if you just head on down this path a little ways, there's a couple buildings you could run across. They, I mean, there's a dairy farmer who lives about out the other way a couple miles. I bet he'd give you some cheese if you did something for him. <laughs> oh, that's great. I I have a plan. <laughs> Not plan, plan to do what? You gonna go get me? You gonna go get some cheese? I'll cook something up for you and your buddy buddies here. Oh yeah, uh, that's a fantastic idea. How many am I cooking for? Do you have anyone else with you? Um, we got a couple other friends. Um, I need you two to roll me like stealth to tip this thing over without making a bunch of noise. <laughs> but one of them I'm is just <laughs> one of them is just obsessed with seeds. So like the, like yeah. the, the you three friends with that you friends with that road. doggone squirrel that lives down the road. You tell him to stay out of my fucking bird feeder. <laughs> As the bird feeder tips over with an audible clunk on the path, and he well, looks over. Goddamn squirrels he... at it again. <laughs> is, is is his direction over towards the feeder? Huh? Is is his like field of view to the bird feeder? Not until it falls over, and then he looks over at it. Cool, I'm gonna wild shape it to a squirrel. And then dash over here. I knew I knew you were just that dog I knew you, you were, were just a squirrel the whole time. I knew you were just that we dog on squirrel in the side. You hood him and he hops over the fence and like falls as he like picks up a club and begins running down the path after you. <laughs> and I'll go to immediately just dash towards into the woods and up a tree. You dog you dog on as he runs up and he looks at the path and he sees Nuzin. You ain't no squirrel. Um, you're correct. I am not a squirrel. Uh, he went that way. way. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. You help me catch that squirrel. I'll give you and your friends enough taters to get you through a couple days. Absolutely. Newson goes in this direction looking for a squirrel that's not Lulin. Uh, Lulin, roll me stealth. Absolutely. The, can you have an advantage man, because I'm in He, he can, but leader. while you're doing that, he walks over and picks up the bird feeder and fits it back into the ground and starts shoveling seeds back into it. Can can I just wait? So wait, wait, wait. Does he have like a, a thing of seeds that he's shoveling? Them no, from? he's like scooping them off the ground with his hands and putting them back oh. in the bird feeder. Uh, yeah, he like doesn't. See, he doesn't see you. Totally. Okay. Boys, if you want to help with this, like I'll get. Try. I'll get you enough taters. Well, I I was really thinking, oh, uh, uh, cheese. I would love to help you with that. Where did this one go from? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was right here the whole time. Oh, you're going to give okay, an old man guys, a heart attack. Go... You can't do something like that to me. We're going to go down to the dairy farm. Gonna we're going to get some you. cheese. Oh. We're going to give this nice man some cheese. Oh, I need to. <laughs> I, need to I need to roll a constitution saving throw. I'm going to... Change Lyra's now that his attention's to... diverted. Uh, Lewin's gonna change, crawl down, and I'm gonna cast invisibility on myself. He kind of sits down. Oh, you gotta give this old man a heart attack like that. You know, you're very, you're very quiet, and light on your feet. Some might call that a bad treat. <laughs> As I mean, he's he like, does, he's now does. leaning up against the bird feeder, like holding his heart. <laughs> did you, did you find that squirrel yet? She's like a little <laughs> Are there any no, rules like in the, in the trees? Roll me survival. <laughs> I'm sure. If they can't, I can always try to find them. Uh, you don't manage to find any squirrels, but you do find a rabbit. Is this what you're looking for? <laughs> Are you <laughs> trying to pick it up? Make know. me an athletics check. Okay. <laughs> That is a 20. A you natural. just grab the rabbit by its pelt and just pick it up as it's like just it kind of just immediately goes like shock still and he goes, No, nah, no, nah, darling, that ain't a that ain't a squirrel, that's a rabbit. But I mean if you want to bring it over here, I can toss it in the stew to go with your taters. <laughs> just in like it turns the oh. rabbit around to make eye contact with it. The rabbit just Oh please no. Oh god, it talks. <laughs> Nuzan is immediately endeared to it the same way that the, the that she was endeared to the manatees and like holds it to her chest. It's like I'll never let anything happen to you. Oh, thank you, thank you. 
Um, while, while the old man is looking that way, Lyra is like, oh yeah, I'm just helping you put the bird seed away. Would, and then she's, but she's also scooping the bird seed I, into her I pockets. Would, <laughs> I, would, I would like to help with this by having a lovely conversation yeah. and endearing this old man to me. Oh. Like, I, I will say you were very quick on your feet. Like you, you must have been. You, you must be. You like after all the, these years, you must be no. doing a. You, you must be. You must have been quite the hunter back in the day. Of course, now no, you're more. No, I've, good no, I've at, never yeah, been. Now, much, if I was much, if really? I was a good hunter, I would have gotten that squirrel a long time ago. It's all. It's all the farm work that keeps me spry. You understand? Oh, understandable. It's at you've you've been doing an absolutely, like like I I must say like you you've done a wonderful job, wonderful crops, and the fact that. The squirrel has had had to continuously try to get to get at you. It it must it must see, it must truly think that you are a a a, a and it, they must take it personally at this point. Well, it's, you, you, it just you, keeps you, trying you, to get into the bird seed. You know, when it eats the bird seed, I I don't get to see all the pretty birds that come by. Oh, that is completely understandable. <laughs> and where, where, are you where, where are you at where with that you? rabbit? <laughs> Um, I'm sorry. I can't. I can't let you eat it. I looked into its eyes and it asked for my help. So, that is, oh, that, that one. Is the, that's the worst sorry, thing. That my you eyesight do. ain't as good as it used to be. Is that Ralph? And Newsom looks down and goes, "Is are you are you Ralph?" It might as fucking well be. <laughs> yes, this is Ralph. Oh no, we can't. We can't eat Ralph. No, he's a yeah. good. He's a good one. I I agree. And it just gives the rabbit a little pat. <laughs> From a distance, you hear Lulin screaming, "Ah, there, there's the fucking squirrel!" Why don't you go help him catch that thing? Uh, I'm pissing. You're pissing on the squirrel. <laughs> what? You're what? I'm. I'm man's pissing. gotta go. Man's don't, gotta go. Don't let. It on the squirrel. Well, you be careful out there. Don't let it get your nuts. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> well, does Lyra have any success grabbing seeds? Like yeah, you're seeds. you're you're shoveling seeds into just like a pouch. Go. I, mm -hmm. I, I wasn't able to get him, but but I did see where he went, and he went uh uh northeast. He he, he literally just points like. Just the opposite direction where he was standing in the woods. Back Nabbit farming got away again. Don't worry, why? you'll get you'll get him eventually. <laughs> Newsom just walks over and goes like, "Why don't you just have a squirrel specific feeder?" Uh, I, I, I mean, squirrels aren't as pretty to look at, and you know, I like to think this little rivalry me and him's got going has been, you know, it's, since my wife died, it's kind of been the light of my day that you know trying to outsmart him and he tries to outsmart me. But, like, if you put out a squirrel feeder, then the birds would have their own feeder and they wouldn't get scared away by oh. him. And then you guys could be friends, you know, rather or. than hating each other. But that's what I got or, around for. Or, or give him here. Or, or, if you, <laughs> or, or, or I will say, if you make, maybe if you get someone to develop a, a almost like a, an obstacle course for the squirrel to get through and you make it harder whenever they succeed. It'd be a I fun did, little activity to watch. Well, I did put an obstacle on it. I put the illusion up and I greased up the pole and I put the cone on everything and he ain't gotten it yet, so I think I'm winning. <laughs> that is fair. That is fair. That You've been doing a wonderful job. Ah, it sure don't feel like it. He got away again. He got uh, away, but he didn't get the seeds. I don't know what I'd ever do if I caught the little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> it seems it so far it seems it, it may you know you just because you this little rivalry you know his end goal is the seeds and he hasn't gotten it so by all accounts you're winning he kind of puts the like club on the ground and starts to use it to push himself up and he grabs the pole and just slides down it again <laughs> <laughs> Let let me help you. Let, let me perfect. let me help you up real quick. <laughs> oh, thank you, you two. You know, you y'all are good kids. Where are y'all coming from? Uh we recent. We were at. I believe we were recently you coming know, from Nissa's a while back. Different right? plane, just kind of a different plane, but you came yeah. from you came from a different yeah. plane. Most of us, yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> I've been. Here. I've been here a very, very long well, time, but I haven't quite paid attention as much as I should have. Y'all you know, seem little... like good kids, so I, I mean, I'll, I'll pass y'all some wisdom. I wouldn't go telling people that. 
Probably not the best. <laughs> My grandpappy's 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 grandpappy warned us not to trust people from other planes. Ah, well, that's good to know. But you know, you all yeah, you all seem like them. kind folk. You don't seem like you're up to anything nefarious. No, <laughs> no never. All never right. Well, I know you didn't thing. catch the squirrel, but y'all want some taters, anyways. Y'all never say no to a good potato. All mm, right. Yeah. Let me just let me just so, go. Let me just go get some out of the house. Y'all <laughs> hang out right here. I'll bring them taters out for you. As he just begins to walk back towards the house <laughs> at an old curmudgeonly pace. As he's walking, Elliot is furiously looking between Lyra and the old man. Like, I really want these taters. Don't ruin this for me. <laughs> I, I, I have to just take a couple. Yeah, just take, like, a handful. I grabbed this thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I, I got, I got, okay, I got, I got okay, Good, 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 guys. El Ellie, if it was any consolation, I was planning on buying some. Mm -hmm. have, like, a, I can make, like, a nice roast <laughs> for us all. Yeah. So, uh, not Ralph. <laughs> What's your deal? <laughs> the, the I, was just, I was just having a great day, so you went and picked me up. Look, okay. I mean, I mean, to be fair, it's rather hard to pick up a rabbit. That's that's without it hopping away. That's actually a very nobody that's asked. A very interesting and very very useful skill. That's really funny. I don't remember anybody asking you. Uh, you know, you might as well. Hey, I might as well mean... what? Ask it. You almost got me thrown in a stew there. No, and then I we, didn't. And then, and then we and then we stopped it. All right. Well, can you put me back down? I'll just go about my day. Uh, what you got for me in exchange? <laughs> wow. I'm a rabbit. Okay. Extorting a rabbit. Okay. I guess if you're.